three for us. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch some match coverage clips. I'm going to go over it, and then we're going to talk about playing flood coverage to three by one. Um, uh, those concepts are called skinny, Mabel, and skate. So the first thing, let's go to our huddle link here. Okay. So we're playing match because it's two by two formation. Okay. What you're going to see here is twos on the ball, ones off the ball, so we know that there's the possibility of the mesh concept. This is one of the hardest concepts that we get. We have a fast three. We went from playing mod to area. The will linebacker is doing what we call, or the, technically our mic right here, is doing what we call a bingo drop. So what he's doing, he's dropping to the weak hook. And when the quarterback looks this direction, he tries to flip his hips back to the strong hook and play three. He's trying to do double duty on here. We see the safety scooching, dropping to the seam. Two runs to the top. Inside the divider, I'm going to play inside on top. The front side corner, playing mod, but we were playing an inch technique this week. So we were inching out of mod this week. We push the fast three. He becomes the curl of two defender. This is really good position maintenance on the divider. He's waiting for him to play the outside and low shoulder position. So you see he ends up playing outside low shoulder on the guy. There's the middle field safety showing up. So he, you can see him literally slowing down to play outside trail because the receiver's running inside the divider. Okay, this next clip is going to be a number two on the shallow crosser. We're going to get high load on the dig. You're going to see the, see the Mike backer take the three through. You're going to see the Will linebacker robot to find the dragger dig. The, two, uh, the weak side curl flat or seam curl flat defender does a poor job of squeezing back and stacking the hook in my opinion. But we're in a Rita match call. You can see our leverage foots up. Corners are playing mod. Safety drops to the seam. Trying to play outside trail. We get the under call. Number eight knows he's going to robot. Roll and run to find the dragger dig. This guy should squeeze back, stack the hook, look for the check down. He shouldn't start to open his hips. He should stay square. You can see his play top down on the strong hook as we take the three through. He's out leveraging me. I got to run with the guy. Number eight, rolling and running for the dragger dig. He knows where it's coming from. We practice the crap out of it. How many levels of defense did we make? Three. How many levels did the offense make? Three. 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 Exactly. Now he is. Same picture. Seam curl flat. So say under, under, under. Squeeze back, stack the hook, stay square. Look for a check down or first crosser. That would come from here. He should say cross, 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 robot or drift, depending on how good you are, to make three levels of defense. You can see the weak hook defender. Here's the under call. Probably knew it was coming because we knew what the concept was. He's starting to drop the strong hook. He takes the three through top down. Bang. I would like him not to look back at the QB because I think if he doesn't look at back at the QB, gets to the receiver first, he probably picks the ball. Okay, another fast three example. Yes, we do. We call it a chow alignment, cheated out wide. The back is cheated out wide. Cheated out wide. Make sense? Okay, so we were probably alerting the fast three here. We get the fast three. You're going to see the Will linebacker, the weak hook defender, push through the curl of two. You're going to see the Mike backer automatically open strong. He has three up and back. I would like the weak hook, the push, the, sorry, the curl of two defender to stack two in the curl. He doesn't need as much depth because the three up and back player is going to come behind him to take the bender. Does that make sense? If he was a post three defender, he would have to stay inside out on the vertical of two, and that's how much depth you'd have to get to post him at the top of the route. And we are going to get high load because we wouldn't have our strong hook defender pushing 
to flood the coverage to be the middle hook. Does that make sense? You can see what the horizontal stretch issue is, can't you? It's really obvious to see. They're running double slant here, are they not? There's a problem, right, horizontally. My weak hook defender is now pushing to the middle hook. So I'm going to have a horizontal stretch issue here. If that's your issue, don't flood the coverage. That's your answer. Don't flood the coverage on the fast three. End zone shot. Cheated out wide. He's over the tackle. I think he's going out on a route. I'm not sure, though. So they'll say flood it or push. Weak hook's going to push the curl too. Strong hook's going to be the middle hook defender. Take him three up and back. This is a good clip. They start in FIB. This is why we went left right, is for teams like Chandler High School. They are an FIB tray. We started in skate. Weak side rotation, cover three. We played skate, not skinny, because one and two were close. So we didn't want to carry the verticals of two and number one and number two. They're going to motion to two by two. They're going to run the mesh rail concept. This is the burn we talked about. The corner recounts it, burns this guy, and starts to midpoint because now he's his only number one. Does that make sense? This is going to be mesh rail. We get fast three. We're going to see the safety take the wheel. We were playing, at times, fire calls. And at other times, area calls. Here we played a fire call. That's why the corner is still playing like man on less rules on the number one receiver. Make sense? Matter of fact, Seam curl flat defender, I got the fast three. I got to take the three through, or I'm sorry, I got to take um, one to the flat. He ran the wheel. We got to make how many levels of defense? What is number 10 trying to do? Robot. Robot. He's rolling and running to find the dragger dig. The guy who screws up is 35. Two went shallow. He should do what? Squeeze back, stack the hook. Now I understand what he's seeing because originally it was three by one. He was the two week to first crosser player. It went to two by two. He still thought it was three by one in his mind. He didn't let one burn across his face. Make sense? That's why it happened. He's thinking, this is two to the flat. I got two to the flat. Well, one ran the shallow, so he's had to say burn, burn, burn. It's hard, it's hard to do. Like, I'm not saying it's easy, but this is a pretty good down. Number four knows he has to take the final three through here. He plays it top down until the receiver out leverages him, makes the tackle for five yards. We were the only team that like, defended this route properly against these guys. So five yards, was a, like, that was a win. Because most teams were getting beat on the rail release on the back, or they were getting beat on the top of the triangle right here. Does that make sense? Made three levels of defense. I'm that, that's a win. I was really excited about that. I'm serious, like really excited. 